A Hollywood marriage originally meant a glamorous high society marriage between celebrities involved in the U.S. film industry. The word Hollywood is often used to represent the U.S. film industry. However, the term has grown to also have strong negative connotations of a marriage that is of short duration and quickly ends in separation or divorce. The term developed the negative connotations fairly early. By the 1930s, a Hollywood marriage was a marriage both glamorous and short-lived. This connotation may also have related, at times, to moral panics over Hollywood's influence on the culture. Sympathetic views of celebrities point out that in Hollywood, it is mostly the bad marriages that are documented by the media, giving a skewed perspective that might make Hollywood marriages appear to have a worse success rate than they have in reality. In 1972 Bob Thomas of the Associated Press remarks specifically about the tendency to ignore lasting celebrity marriages with the examples he gave including Bob Hope's marriage to Dolores Hope and Rosalind Russell's marriage to producer Frederick Brisson. Negative views of Hollywood marriages take the position that the divorce rates are indeed unusually high among celebrities and that this is caused by faults within Hollywood as a culture or by personal faults of the celebrities themselves. They point to the usage of weddings as publicity stunts, the egotism or immaturity of celebrities or celebrity culture, and high rates of infidelity or promiscuity. B. Wilson, in an article for the Daily Telegraph, critiqued Hollywood marriages for often being based on the unrealistic dreams of what she termed permanent children, although she points to some classic Hollywood couples, like Lauren Bacall and Humphrey Bogart or Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward, as exceptions to these criticisms. While the introduction to the cultural sociology of divorce, an encyclopedia edited by Robert E. Emery specifically mentions Hollywood divorces as epitomizing a consumerist throwaway marriage view found in the West. The actors and entertainers themselves vary in perspective on the commonality or reason for divorce in Hollywood. In 1961 Ann Baxter stated Hollywood was the most difficult place in America for marriage due, in part, to the terrible extremes of success and failure both spouses may face. In a 1964 interview Mitzi Gaynor, who would remain married to the husband mentioned in the interview until his death, took the more defensive position that Hollywood couples look different mostly because everything we do is magnified. Although she conceded they might be slightly different because you have to be a little off-center to get into this business in the first place. Beyond anecdote or opinion the actual evidence on the matter is complicated by differing definitions of who qualifies as a celebrity or Hollywood. That stated a study from Radford University placed dancers and choreographers as the occupations having the highest percent currently divorced with entertainers and performers, sports and related workers, all other still being above average a tenth. That placed them between nursing, psychiatric, and home health aides at ninth and baggage porters and concierges at eleventh. In 1900 actors professional showmen were listed as having the highest divorce rate of occupations, but as this predates even the incorporation of Hollywood it refers to the profession itself rather than Hollywood or celebrity culture as we know it. A Forbes article placed professional athletes and entertainers together and with a high divorce rate, 